Alright, in this video I want to take a couple of equations and just solve for some specified variable. So in the first example we've got that a equals one half times h times the quantity b1 plus b2 and we want to solve that for b1. So what that means to me is eventually we want to do a whole bunch of algebra and get uh, b1 all by itself. So there's certainly a couple different ways we can go about doing this. Um, the first thing I notice is that there's a one-half in here and typ typically if I can get rid of fractions that's the first thing I like to do. So, you know, multiplying by one-half to me is the same thing as dividing by two. So I think, well, if you're dividing by two, what undoes multiplication, or excuse me, what undoes division? Well, multiplication undoes division. So since we're dividing by two, to get rid of the one-half I could multiply by two but if I do it to the right side, I have to do it to the left side as well. So on the left side, we're left with 2a. The 2 times a half is just 1, so we can basically just get rid of that. And then we have h times b1 plus b2. And <clears throat> now I want to get, um, there's again a couple different ways I could do it. Since I'm multiplying by h, I think, well, I would like to get rid of that. So again, multiplying by h, I'll divide both sides by h. On the right side, h divided by h is just 1. On the left side, there's really nothing to simplify down, so we still have the 2a over h. You can think about in the numerator there being a positive 1 in front of the b1 plus b2. If you distribute that, we'll be left with b1 plus b2. And now to simply get b1 all by itself, since I'm adding b2, I would subtract b2 from both sides. Well, on the left side, they're not really like terms, so there's not a lot we can do. But we do have, we could simply just rewrite it as 2a over h minus b2. And now we have solved for b1. It's all by itself, so we are finished. Um, <clears throat> in the second equation, we have to solve for our variable z. So we've got 3z plus x minus y equals 2x plus 4. And since there's only a single z floating around on the left side, I'm going to just leave that by itself. So I've really got to do two things. Um, I've got to get rid of the plus x and the minus y. So I can subtract x from both sides to get rid of the x. On the left side, we would have 3z. The minus y is still there. Well, we would have 2x minus 1x, which would just leave us with a positive 1x, and then plus 4. And again, to get rid of the minus y, we can simply add y to both sides. So on the left side, we have 3z equals x plus y plus 4. Um, typically, I like to stick my variables first, so I just kind of arbitrarily put the y after the x. And again, the last thing we want to do now is get the z all by itself. So since we're multiplying by 3, we can divide by 3. Um, or equivalently, multiply by one-third. So you have to divide everything on the right side by 3 as well. So on the left side, we just have 1z. And we could either write the right side as x plus y plus 4 over 3. Or equivalently, we could rewrite that as one-third times the quantity x plus y plus 4. And now we've got our solution.